In this video, we are going to discuss about VLSM variable length subnet mask. So, coming to VLSM, VLSM is a numerical masking sequence or IP subset address as per the requirement in the networks we use it. So, here you can see here VLSM is summarization buildups on subnetting. So, the one network is further divided into sub, uh, subnet masks and also provided with slash notations and depends on the host available on it. So, you can see here clearly this router A, B, C, D are configured and router D has a main address 192.168.1.192 by 27 and this is further divided into the three networks and again given with slash notations where the number of hosts are connected and you can clearly see that earlier it was required to have a same subnet mask across the network that means if the same network mask is there in the all over the network then it is called class full of network and in future afterwards due to the complexity of the networks available classless has been introduced and you, and you can also see there are decreases in the IP addresses and obviously the class full is getting wasted of the IP addresses. So, what they have happened that the classless got introduced and, and they introduced by the way of VLSM and this has to be configured in different subnet mask across the network and you can see an example here there are 13 host 20 host and 20 host connected to A, B, C routers with different networks and altogether this is all of one network which is connected to 29 host. So, the source will be contacting with the destination through these networks, but this is a separate network, this is a separate network and this is a separate network and these are used in classless networking and depends on the protocols this will communicate with each other. You can see here that with the few restrictions you have to follow in this VLSM. First one is you need to have configured the routing protocols like EIGRP, OSPF, broad, broader gateway protocol and routing information protocol version 2 because they are all classless networks and you know classful protocols such as RV, RAP version 1 cannot be used with VLSM that means as we saw this one this is a classless protocols this is a classful protocol and this cannot be used in VLSM and you need to fix you need, you need to have fixed block addresses because the broadcast address and network address has to be there so that the range between the broadcast and network gives you the host addresses that is what mentioned here this is a block size 128 but the host addresses available are 126 because 0 and 128 are blocked for network and broadcast addresses in the same way 64 you have only 62 and 32 you have only 30 and so on if you have block size as 4 you have only 2 host addresses available in it to use and when designing a network using VLSM the following 5 steps we have to follow what are the 5 steps we start finding the largest subnet in your network and the number of host addresses needed that means you need to uh, recognize the largest subnet network and also the host you require or resides on that network and assigning the appropriate mask to largest subnet first because when you are assigning the subnet mask you have to fo you have to follow this step that you assign it to the largest subnet mask and using the block sizes by using block sizes you have to assign to the largest subnet here and also the subnet numbers remaining with mask are used here so it comes on the order largest next largest next largest and the lowest so in this way you have to you have to create the subnet mask and take the next available subnet and subnet is further divided or given the so to the smaller subnet after the largest subnet is been given based on the block size you have to follow that same thing with the next following subnet and you repeat this for smaller segments so you can take a consider an example so you have router a router b and router c connected to router d so here you have 16 host here you have 30 host here you have 21 host but this is a separate network connecting to the other other side host which you communicate uh, or transfer the data or trans uh, transport the data that way so that here based on the largest subnet and based on the block size you will give the subnet mask and also follows to the other routers or the other networks also and you can see here that uh, router c require 21 host addresses and we have we will be giving the first subnet mask to router c the same way you will be giving it to the router a and router b and router d and vice versa you can see a clear example here that 
this is router A, router B and router C ok and here 28 hosts are connected to router B, 125 are connected to router A and again 60 are connected to router A and router C has 12 hosts. So, based on the IP addresses or the address available here, based on the large subnet mask and the block size, you, you, you provide the subnet mask to it at the first one and rest all can be provided later and this will be communicating a different network and this networks are used to communicate or transport the data information from router B to router C and uh, to the to the host available here and in the same way router A to router C and host available here and router A to router C and the host available here. So, the data is transported and this VLSM is very important here because this uses classless protocol so that the IP addresses are not getting wasted here. So, you can also see the VLSM solution follows 5 steps as we discussed earlier this 5 steps has to be followed to get the masks assigned to the subnets and a very very clear example is given here for you so that you can see the tar, the the biggest example is here you see this is the actual network 192.168.1.224 by 28 is a slash notation it is given to router c further it is divided into two networks one is 192.168.10.0 and this is 192.168.10.192 so that this can come this host can communicate with these host based on this network and this host can communicate with this, this host with this this network so that you can see here that the subnet mask is getting assigned to these is variable in length and also it follows classless protocol and it is given in the order that largest subnet with lesser host will be given first priority and lesser uh, subnet mask with the higher host will be given the next priority in such a way that this is given as an example for the variable length subnet mask and you can see the masks are provided here with slash notations and these are to be noted so that it will be helpful for you in when you are creating the variable length subnet mask as following the 5 steps here.